the result of the presidential election petitions tribunal is already calling itself. Like I told you in one of our past videos, I said, even before the day of the final result, we would have known what it says, what is in the content, what will be their judgment. The reason I'm saying so is because of the signs we see, I still believe in change and change is constant. But then anything is possible. This time around, there was a billboard, all eyes on judiciary. Such billboard has been spotted in those state before. Now it, it, it was seen in Abuja. And we've seen bags and materials having such printed on it, all eyes on the judiciary. The motive behind such awareness is not a bad one. The essence is so that the judiciary will do the right things. It's not a plan to intimidate the judiciary. No. If the judiciary has no skeleton in their cupboard, they shouldn't be afraid of anything. If the judges plan to do the right things, should they be afraid? We later had the signpost was taken down. I saw that as an intimidation. It was not only taken down. The people behind the signpost were queried. The essence is so that the judiciary will do the right thing. That they will not continue to do things as usual. Give the right judgment. And let me tell you, if all Nigerians are to vote for that signboard, regards that signpost, 99.9 .9 will be voting for it to remain there. 99.9. .9. And now here is the latest on that signpost. Federal government dissolves ASP. Over all eyes on the judiciary billboards. Federal government is Tinubu government. That is why I said we are finished. And before the day of the final judgment, we would have known what is the content of the judgment they will give. So the federal government had dissolved the Secretariat of the Advertising Standard Panel, ASP, over the approval of billboards termed as blackmailing the presidential election petition tribunal with the title all eyes on the judiciary the judiciary is working for nigerians they are paid through taxpayers money so all eyes should be on them if all eyes no day on them now now we are all eyes go day before but the federal government being what we used to know them to be they have taken you know action immediately well I am afraid of what the tribunal will give as judgment. Sincerely, I am afraid. And I don't know whether Nigerians will continue to watch them do whatever they like. I am aware certain judges have um, received sanctions from overseas. And I think some of them are not even afraid again. Yes, they will be banned. They will be denied visas to certain countries. Some of them do not care. I think the international community should increase the punishment, the sanctions they give to judges who mess up. Already they are aware of what is going on, of how the election went. And they are also aware of what the judgment should be. And if it goes contrary, let the sanctions be increased. We are pleading with the international community to continue to keep an eye on what will be the final judgment of the tribunal because the common people must not continue to be silenced. Nigerians voted and it has been Nigerians will vote, INEC will pick whoever they like. Let that not repeat again. It should go beyond visa ban and the rest of them. There are other ways, other sanctions that can be given. All eyes on Niger because of the coup.
they say Niger truncated a democratic government. Now, in a case whereby the democratic government is so evil, what do you expect? Do you expect the military to keep watching and, you know, everything goes wrong and continues? I want us to comment on this. Tell us what you think. Add your comment on the comment section. Please subscribe to our channel if you have not subscribed. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram for more updates. Bye-bye for now.